I'm Jerry Cottle Jr. from the RooftopCinemaClub.com, and you're listening to it on air with Tony Sweet. Sweet, like the popcorn. <laughs> Uh, Is that, that going to get me in trouble? I don't know. I don't no, know. that's that's actually very funny. So yeah. talk to me about rooftop films. Yes. I love the concept sure. and I love the idea. Yeah. Well, funny enough, we, we actually run London's only drive-in cinema. But to answer your question, to, to answer your question about so where, did it, where did it all start, I really like the idea of being right in the middle of a city. Um, almost surrounded by all this, you know, this this urban environment and these big office buildings. So we literally did start in one one venue in uh, you know in a trendy part of London called Shoreditch. And uh, lo and behold, it's you know we're very blessed, and since then we've grown to become you know sort of the UK's leading outdoor cinema. We now have five venues in London alone, including the, the Roof Gardens, which is part of Richard Branson's portfolio of u- unique retreats. And uh, obviously, <laughs> since then, yeah, no, it's a very nice one. So we have a real mix of kind of tr- car park rooftops, and you know, some of them are nice clubs others in very nice venues like the rooftop last year we we uh, after having sort of four sold out seasons in london you know we sort of packed our bags and went over to new york and after that we kind of got the confidence to you know to come to obviously to, over to to la as well and uh, that was amazing for us to to land in that what is the home of film we we've always regarded as i think the, the world regards it as home of film and to to open a cinema on the, especially where we are at the montauban the walk of fame Right on the Walk of Fame, and we opened there. And obviously, we're doing really well. We now have two venues in New York, and one in LA. And um, and yesterday, we actually launched our first Chicago venue as well. We're very pleased to be bringing this, you know, this style of cinema, this outdoor boutique, but very sort of you know social and community led cinema to uh, to the US. Cool. Now, are you a big movie fan? I love fun movies. When I started the rooftop, I was basically playing my 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 DVD collection, not literally playing my DVD collection, but you know, sort of playing all those films I, I knew and loved from my childhood because I just wanted to sort of see them on the big screen with my with my friends, and that's kind of where it, where it grew from. So I love all form of, form of movies, but I love you know a lot of what we play um, is is the fun stuff like Top Gun and you know and, uh, Brexit Tiffany's and Casablanca. So some classics, some cult. They're the kind of movies that we we have a lot of fun with. We do play all sorts of movies from you know sort of independence to alternative to lots of foreign film but essentially the stuff that really our audience essentially keeps coming back for and really wants to see we find are the kind of the, the easy going the, the fun kind of cult movies i think people want to kind of they want to come and relax and let their hair down at one of our nights they, they don't want to be it's, it's kind of something nostalgic and uh sort of reminiscing and, and a lot of uh, a laid way back to watch film so speaking of fun, I have a little mm. fun fact that I found out about you. You oh, have something in common dangerous. with the circus, right? <laughs> uh, yes, yes, that is true. I can't deny that I <laughs> ran away from the circus, Carla. I, uh, I'm probably the only the, the only boy to run away from a circus, not to a circus. But uh, no, no, yes, I'm an ex-clown and juggler. It's quite funny. Uh, I love love my circus life. But yes, I was born in a circus family, so I think entertainment's in my blood. But I never, I never wanted to do circus. I always want to do my own thing. But ironically, you say that. Uh, what I find funny, and people always point out, is I'm still selling popcorn. <laughs> I'm, just selling, I'm just selling it in a cinema instead of a circus. But that's very true. Yes, I was. Uh, I'm, an, I'm an actual clown. When you sure. went to a drive-in, you had your car to cover you up. You know, yeah. if it rained, what do you guys yeah. do for rooftop when it rains? Yeah, it's a very good question, and especially. In the uh, the the world famous British weather, isn't that right, Carla? You know, yes. it's not exactly it's not exactly LA sunshine here and and uh, tropical weather every day, is it? So you know what, we screen rain or shine, as do uh, most outdoor events uh, here in the UK, and with most of our cinemas in New York as well. We started to, sc- to cancel screenings, but then after year one, we were getting to the point where because we're only seasonal and we can only run for kind of four or five months of the summer. Um, we were basically running out of time to screen. And so we sent kind of, you know, an email out to all of our customers saying, we're now going to screen rain or shine. If you want your money back, no problems. And and we asked everyone and, and everyone actually, the audience turned around out of like 3,000 people, about five people wanted to uh, not come and see the film. So what we found is that people actually don't want to cancel their screening. If it's a little bit of drizzle, they just want to come along and enjoy it. And so people come in the rain or, you know, or the sun or the rain, and they just embrace it. It's very British. Uh, but, but people really get into it. We try and make it a lot easier. We give, you know, everyone gets a free uh, sort of rain jacket or a poncho, whatever you want to call it. Um, we also, you know, give away some free popcorn. We, we make it extra fun. 
So actually, uh, uh, and this is no word of a lie, we've actually had some of our best screenings in the rain. People really do embrace it. Obviously, if it's torrential, we don't want people to sit there like drowned rats. But most of the time, it's just a bit of rain and drizzle. People don't want to cancel their night out. They still come and have some fun on a rooftop. Good. Now, are there any age restrictions? Or are there any issues regarding smoking? Yeah, that's, you know, good question. The thing is, a lot of our venues, nearly all our venues are, on, are, are actually on sort of obviously licensed venues and, and sort of clubs and stuff like that and different things. So we are 18 plus. The other reason we're that is that we don't start until the sun sets. So we start, you know, we only have one screening a night. So really it's always been kind of a more adult based thing. We do do special one-off screenings when we do things like the drive-in and it's kind of, you know, in the winter time and you can screen a bit earlier. But essentially, because of the late sunset times and the licensing laws, we are 18 plus. Well, smoking, we ask you don't smoke in the cinema area. Different rooftops, um, if you're allowed to smoke on the rooftop, we're happy with that in the designated areas. All we ask is that if you do throw your cigarette butt off the rooftop, you will be punished Kung Fu style. So we don't want you throwing your cigarette <laughs> Parts off the rooftop. That's the only warning I can give you. So when they do screenings in parks and whatnot, people sure. have to bring their own chairs, their own blankets, their own food. We like to think of ourselves almost like a bit of a boutique outdoor cinema. So we have these bright and beach deck chairs, which are kind of stripy. They're very comfy, laid back. People also get their own headphones. We do something quite different. So that sort of blocks out the noises of the city around you and really immerses you into the film. You get a blanket. Uh, you get a blanket if it gets chilly at night. Not always the case, but sometimes uh, early and, le- and at the end of the season, it gets a bit nippy. So we really do our best to try and look after you when you get to the cinema and make it really special. You don't have to worry about getting, you know, a spot in the park or someone kicking you in the back, um, you know, when they're sitting down. Don't get me wrong, it's, I love going to watch cinema in the, in the park, but we are completely different. We're, we're, we're much more, um, it's, a, it's a much more sort of like boutique experience, I'd say, and it, and it works really well, and I think that's why people love coming back to our cinema time and time again. And as far as the payment is concerned, it's not a cash situation. People have to buy their tickets ahead of time, correct? That's correct, yeah. So a lot of our screenings sell out very quickly, So because obviously we are a lot smaller. You know, We're not like a park where you can fit thousands at a time. They're smaller one-off screenings. So we do advise to sort of book, book ahead, go on the website, Sometimes if we're sold out, you get the odd time when people do drop out. So if you really want to see a film, we always encourage people to come up and just come on the, on the night. And if there's any dropouts, we'll, of course, do our very best to accommodate anyone's there. We, we really want everyone to see a film and have a good time. But we, we obviously advise because of the, you know, there's no guarantee with that to, to book in advance. And you can, yeah, you can book on rooftopcinemaclub.com. Uh, because I'm a blogger, I'm a film blogger. I yeah. know that Rooftop Cinemas also has a blog. Can you tell me yeah. a little bit about the blog that you guys have? Yeah, yeah, we, we know. We love our we love our blog, and we've just started doing a lot more with it recently. We just feel that that's kind of our our voice. Um, we, we you know we really do support the the whole art of outdoor cinema, and we I think with our blog, what we're trying to do is to, tell you a bit more about what we're about. You know, we are completely we see ourselves as completely different from you know a normal cinema. And I think film lovers, and especially yourself, obviously being a, a big film lover, film lovers set us aside from a normal cinema by the fact we have themed cocktails and we have great street food and we have these great views and of course we have great service. It's very much it's a whole night out and people really come to enjoy talking about the film they're about to see and really relax have some nice food and I think the blog is one of our ways that we can express some of the ideas we have and our thoughts about film and the industry for example something we did recently I don't know if you've seen it we put yes, out what we call the, uh, the rules of uh, the rules of the rooftop so again this is silly little things like if you uh, if you go up when we're paying, playing the Goonies and do a truffle shuffle um, uh, you know the, the, the truffle shuffle hilarious um, then we give you a free popcorn and uh, we also have sort of we, we do lots of fun things like that if we're doing the big Lebowski then we our manager kind of gets people into you know doing the pretend to bowl and we'll give them free drinks and there's this whole thing we're trying to cre- create about the community of our cinema and the blog is our chance to talk about the community side of our of our cinema we, we feel that we're bringing the community back to cinema i know my parents like the idea came from my parents were telling me years ago that when they used to go to the cinema they kind of meet up with their friends beforehand they'd be having a chat then they go and see a film then afterwards they go probably get some fish and chips i know very british uh, and there was this whole like event around the cinema whereas nowadays i feel that over the last until recently with what we, we're doing it, cinema lost that a little bit and it all used to be it was great you know the film was is great but when you think about your normal trip to the cinema you kind of get there and you get your ticket off a machine a lot of the time you get you know a, a, a sort of you know a bit of a half warm hot dog and some stale nachos off someone who doesn't really want to serve you and be there and then you go and watch the film and the film is great 
but actually the whole thing around the multiplex and the whole thing around the film is pretty is pretty rubbish um and we're trying not to be that we're we're, we're, the, we're the antithesis of that we're the the fun part and then it's the film as well and our blog is our way to to communicate that to our um our fans and our and our you know our, our audience do you encourage any guest bloggers for that blog we certainly do. Are you? Uh, would you? Would you do something for us? Oh, I'd love to. Oh, oh I can't I wait. Can say yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's just, let's talk. We love we love things like that. But it's, we you know we it's a, we think the blogs one of the most important things to to talk about film and the love of film and and all things all things rooftop cinema club related. We love it. Yeah. Well, we love things all rooftop cinema here in Los Angeles as well, Mr. Jerry Cottle. What time is it there? Well, it's uh, it's uh, the the lovely hour of half past five. So uh, you know it's morning time with you, isn't it? You're you're just getting used to the day, and we're we're kind of we're looking out now. We're getting we're getting ready to screen in a couple of hours. So it's it's uh, it's yeah the show the show's about to start as we say. Thank you so very much. <laughs> yeah, absolute pleasure. Thank you for thank you for having me. Please go and see a screening. Let us know if you want to come and see a film at any point with your friends. Um, a pleasure to welcome you. We have already worked something out, my dear. <laughs> yes, good. good. <laughs> Hi, I'm Jerry Cottle Jr. from the Rooftop Cinema Club, and you are listening to Carla Renata's Corner.